Well, good evening. Happy New Year's. Uh, we've got uh, a great show tonight with a bunch of different people that uh, are going to bring us some guidance for uh, starting out uh, 2021. And one of them is Tracy Chilati, who is a certified life coach. Uh, she's a model. She's a fitness expert. Uh, you know, Tracy, tell me, wh what is it, everything you do? It sounds like it's a whole wonderful list of things. What is it? I'm a certified life coach. I've kind of um, transitioned from being a personal trainer. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur for you know many years um, with nutritional products, a multitude of nutritional products that I believe in. I'm very, very passionate about you know wellness, health, and fashion. <laughs> Just to mix it in, mix it up. <laughs> That's a quite a quite a range. And you also said you were a mompreneur. What was that? What does that mean? Um, well, it just means that I have a team of people underneath me with, um, with one company in particular, but I also have a team and another it's, they're just all nutritional companies that I've, that I've aligned myself with. I believe in their products. I use them every day and yeah, that's, it's, that's what I believe a entrepreneur is. Okay. And, and so my kids are, are involved. My kids take the products. Whatever I, whatever I consume, I feel like my kids should be able to consume as well. Okay. And uh, we're starting a new year uh, as a certified life coach and uh, as a former personal trainer and as someone that uh, tries to inspire people. What, uh, what, what things do you think are important as we think about the new year? Well, I'm still a personal trainer. I still have clients. <laughs> um, for me right now, it's um, to be able to maintain that peace of mind every single day to have happiness, peace, joy, and love, and constant forgiveness in our hearts. And, you know, prayer is, you know, God is number one, definitely in my life before anyone or anything. So because of him, I am the person who I am today. And I, and I, that's what I do. First thing in the morning, I turn my will, my life over to him. And I see how I can serve others, starting with my family. Awesome. And uh, as, a, as a life coach, is that what you uh, guide people to do? I actually guide them on four different quadrants. And it's, so it's health, relationships, vocation, and time and money freedom. And I take health, them- Health, relationships. Yeah, vocation. Vocation and, and time and money freedom. Correct. Okay, so let's talk about each one of those. So, so health, it's obviously fitness and nutrition. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. And, and on, mindfulness, of course, mindfulness, which is what uh, meditation or yoga or what meditation, yoga, prayer, affirmations, gratitude, all of the above. Fantastic. Okay. And, uh, and then uh, the second one was relationships. Tell us about relationships to just have healthy, positive relationships with your starting with your family with, I would say God first, like your higher power, whoever that might be. And then with your family, with your um, loved ones, that's so important with friends, with your colleagues, your clients, customers, all the above. And I, for me, it's all about like not holding any resentment at all and letting things go. And I just on a continual basis, on a daily basis, I, I pray for people and to keep those relationships healthy and strong and just communication is, is so important as well. Relationships have been challenging this past year uh, because of uh, COVID-19, where some people have gotten a lot closer because they've been uh, together on a, in a pandemic, and then other people have not had good relationships because they've been closer together during a pandemic. Any suggestions in that regard? Yeah, it's, it's just, it's like, again, it starts with you. It starts with, it, for me, like, because I have four kids, right? It starts with me and how I start my day, because I truly believe on my foundation is the way I am and how I start my day and the energy I bring into that day, my positivity, my gratitude, my love for people and, and realizing that people are human. I'm human. I make mistakes. People. And we just, you know, forgiveness is so key to, to having healthy relationships. That's how, how I've, you know, I believe we all have maintained healthy relationships through this COVID, but I've been on the other side where I've, you know, I've went through very difficult times. So I've learned the hard way also. So I'm here today to speak because I've come through difficult times, you know, divorce and, and very, very hard times. 
Uh, can you tell us anything more about that? What was the hard time? Uh, just with close family members and whatnot. Just, um, yeah, breakdown of relationships and having to uh, rebuild them again. From and how did you deal with that? You said, you've said uh, resentment, you don't allow that into your life and forgiveness. Are those the things that have been your secrets to getting over those situations? Definitely key. The 12 step, the 12 steps. So I'm a part of a 12 step community. I actually work with addicts. I am a recovered addict myself. So I work the 12 steps on a daily basis. And when you work this 12 step, it allows you to have healthy relationships with, with the people around you. It's an okay. amazing program. Life uh, so, so, so that's uh, health and that's relationships. The third was vocation. Tell us about what advice you give people as a life coach on vocation. Vocation is doing, I believe, what you love, what you're passionate about, and to do more of that, to do more of what you love. Maybe you do have a job, but maybe you have that you maybe don't like, but on the side, do something that you, that you do love and start to implement that in. And then if that's your goal, that could be a goal you could work towards maybe, you know, um, getting paid part-time for doing something that you love and then working it in more where maybe one day that's your dream to do that full time. Right. Maybe it's, you know, you've got a corporate job and you want to be a, a life coach or you want to be a yoga teacher. And you, so you can bring that in. Now's a perfect time too, because everything's going virtual, right? Why is it a perfect time? I think it's, you know, people are challenged. Businesses are going bankrupt. Um, why is it a perfect time? That's why it is a perfect time. You've got to be open. You've got to open your mind to opportunities, to creative possibilities. Um, this definitely for me has um, expanded my mind in different ways because I'm growing in areas that, that have been difficult, but in that difficulty, there is um, reward, right? Because I'm learning, I'm learning more and more. <laughs> That's my dog. So... Yeah, for me, it's, uh, it's made me better. Any kind of adversity, right? There's opportunity in adversity. It's your choice whether you can bring it, let it, allow it to bring you down or you can be raised up because of it. So you think the adversity has actually helped you? Definitely. Definitely. It's brought me more into where I'm supposed to be. Okay. And then the fourth one was, uh, was time for, for yourself and, uh, and, and, uh, and what? Money, time and money freedom. Time and money freedom. And how does one achieve time and money freedom? So um, by setting goals in the sense of on you, how much you want to make per year, perhaps, or having an additional income somewhere, I believe in multi multiple streams of income. Um, I'm getting actually just, I'm transitioning also into and getting into investing. Um, you know, I'm praying for guidance in that area. And that I love to travel. So that's on my, um, you know, at some point I would like to travel more and be able to do my business wherever I am in the world. Like this, like I could be in Europe talking to you right now. <laughs> right. Right. And so, so as you, know. you say, uh, you know, with COVID, we've all learned about uh, the, the, the potentials of uh, virtual commerce, virtual relationships, virtual life. Is that positive or negative? I think it's, I think it's definitely positive. Definitely positive. I, I think obviously I'm blessed because I still work with clients physically. Like I go to their homes for personal training. I, I do. Um, you know, I think the importance of obviously human contact is so, so important, but we are in a situation right now and it's up to us to make the very best of that situation. So for example, in health, if you want to set some health goals or fitness goals, you can join a class, uh, some class that you've been, you know, dying to do, love to do. You can join it and for free. There's a lot of free trials. Um, you can join one class. It'll cost you maybe eight to ten dollars. Just do what you love, and by doing what you love, you will get to where you want to be. I do believe in that big time. So. We're starting a new year. And you've talked about how you start a day with prayer um, and mindfulness. Um, what ideas, recommendations have you got for people as we think about uh, 2021 and starting a, new, uh, starting a new year? 
ideas. Well, I'm actually going to join a manifesting challenge to start. I did this in the start of this year. Was what a is a manifesting challenge? It's uh, a manifesting is, is exactly what it is. It's manifesting in the sense of what do you want to manifest this year in 2021? So I did it in 2020 and a lot of like, the, it's very interesting because you, I would never in a million years thought that something like this would have, would have been needed for me to come into my, what I love to do, which is my certified life coaching, right? So there was a transition. I lost uh, a big client of mine, but in that losing something, I gained something. I gained more clients in, in my life coaching. And uh, so I manifested that because that was my goal. My goal is to get more into my life coaching. I still want to keep my you know, my clients in personal training, because I love them very dearly, but I want to get more into life coaching because I can travel with my life coaching. I can, I can life coach people from all over the world. That's, that's okay. So, so manifesting is, is thinking about uh, visioning what you want and, and, uh, and planning on it coming true. And then what you do is you, you join a group that what helps you, um, keep on the, on, on that path. Yep. And there's, so there's daily videos and emails and the whole idea is feeling good every single day. You want to get into that space of feeling good because when you feel good, you manifest all the positive to you. You attract that into your life, whatever you, you want to attract, you writ, you wrote down by feeling good and getting into that high vibration energy, you will attract these things to you. If you're in a low vibration energy, that's negative where you are maybe resenting or maybe you've got negative relationships, that's not going to bring you to where you want to be, right? In a healthy, positive, joyful, happy way. You can, Okay. you, you understand what I mean. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Anything else other than manifesting? Starting a new, new year, what else uh, should uh, you recommend to people to do? Um, just to set goals on in, in those areas. To set goals with with your health, like what do you want to happen with your health? So if, Brian, what do you want? What are you gonna set for for your health? And I have, uh, I've not been as active as I need to be. And uh, and uh, and so therefore I wanna get more active. Uh, I've got a, a pool in my backyard and with COVID-19, I swam every day and that was good. But frankly, uh, gif, given the, the colder weather, I have not been nearly as active. I, I used to uh, be a member of a gym, uh, but because of the gym closures, uh, I haven't been going. So I've got to find a way of getting more active. And I've been thinking about at least in the winter, uh, skiing, cross country skiing, downhill skiing, walking, etc. Have you ever hired a personal trainer or someone, a mentor to get you to your fitness goals? Uh, I've heard of it. I've never done it. So that's a perfect example of when you hire someone that's an expert in that field, they will help you to get to your goals in that area. So that's what I do. Exactly. Okay. And then I could say, okay, so relationships, what kind, what relationships do you want to enrich in the year 2021, Brian? Well, that's a rich question. So we got an issue there. Ah, <laughs> right. <laughs> do, you want to, do you want to tell me more about that? <laughs> Not publicly on the, uh, the, the radio. No. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll set you up an appointment. <laughs> okay. And then vocation, I'm starting a new job. And so uh, that's uh, an interesting uh, uh, development. And then the last one was what time for... Me, what, are, what are you starting? I'm going to be executive VP corporate development for a medical device company. Wow. Congratulations. Thank I you. love that, Brian. Way to go. Where do you live, by the way? Mississauga. Hmm. I was there yesterday training a client. And then the fourth is time for um, uh, time and money for what was it? Time and money, freedom, time and money, freedom. Um, and that's probably something to look forward to and uh, plan for. There's no question. And I think some of your, uh, your plans in regards to the ability to travel um, are probably pretty critically important and uh, the ability to, uh, have money that, uh, you know, I read this wonderful book at one point in time, Shogun, where the lead proponent uh, said the key to life is having a little bit of, uh, uh, she didn't call it buzz off money, she called it something else, but it was effectively something like buzz off money. Uh, so that, you know, when you've got a, a bad situation or a bad relationship or a bad job or a bad something rather, you can say buzz off because you've got a little kitty in the back. So I think that's critical. Well, those are some great suggestions for the, for the new year. Thank you so much, uh, Tracy. I really appreciate it. If people want to contact you for uh, your coaching or uh, your personal training or whatever, how do they do that? 
email is probably the best or by by text. Excellent. So, well, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Your email is? Tracy, T-R-A-C-E-Y. And my last name, C-E-L-O-T-T-I-B-V-M-S at gmail.com. Well, thank you so much for joining us and happy New Year's. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.